But yes, men will message you, match with you, chat with you, waste your time. And why? Because they can, because they're bored, because they need an ego stroke. But none of these things mean anything really. So having sex with him doesn't mean anything. Matching with him, messaging with him doesn't mean anything. Even him dating you and wasting your time for years and years and years while he's like maybe thinking, well, when the right one comes along, I'll jump on it. None of these things matter. gentlemen welcome back to another video of women dating after divorce as today guys we'll take a closer look at what women after divorce think how they proceed with dates and are they a red flag so let's start with this one right here that is going to tell you guys a few hard truths about men so this woman knows men more than probably you do so uh, listen a little about yourself guys leave me your thoughts in the comments and now let's get started Ladies, it's truth time. Here are a few hard truths about men that I've learned from being a professional matchmaker for 15 years. Okay, hang on. Number one, these are in no particular order. They will date you even if they don't see long term. Okay, they'll date you. They'll keep dating you. They may date you for years. They may date you for a week, a day. They may try to sleep with you even if they see zero future. And on the subject of having SEX with you, <laughs> um, they'll do that too. And what I learned early on with one of uh, my clients that was early on in my days of matchmaking, so now I know better not to work with these kind of men, but... Um... Wait, but weren't you a professional matchmaker? What do you mean you're not going to walk with this particular type of men? Are you also not going to walk with women who have high standards and cannot settle for crap? You know, a kind of uh, hypocrite to be a quote-unquote professional matchmaker, which, what does that even mean in today's society, guys? We have every woman over 30 being a dating coach, relationship advice coach, divorce coach, etc. So I uh, kind of doubt this woman's credentials, but what do you mean you're not going to work with men who want to... <laughs> <laughs> hook up you know uh start off by not working with women who you can match with the best men in the world and they're still gonna find uh, problems with him um he told me gina i sleep with them sooner rather than later especially if i see no future with them why not last but not least and this goes Women do this too. But yes, men will message you, match with you, chat with you, waste your time. And why? Because they can, because they're bored, because they need an ego stroke. But none of these things mean anything really. So having sex with him doesn't mean anything. Matching with him, messaging with him doesn't mean anything. Even him dating you and wasting your time for years and years and years. While he's like maybe thinking, well, when the right one comes along, I'll jump on it. None of these things matter. Okay. What matters is how a man shows up for you, how he wants to lock you down and be in a relationship with you. And this guy is going to be communicating all of those things. So if you're ever sitting around wondering or worried about, I don't know, being unsure is your answer because with the right guy who's really into you. You'll never be unsure. Well, this whole story, guys, sounds a little suspiciously uh, subjective to me, if you know what I mean. This woman, guys, we have to doubt her credentials. Uh, she looks to me like the average 40-year-old that has just spent her life dating the wrong type of men. The guys who just want to mess around and now he's here whining, you know, men, you know, just men. Guys, let me tell you, uh, there are men who do this, right? They will date women for years, not commit, just want to have fun, you know. Uh, they will even lie to women. Can you believe it, guys? We have big bad men over here. Just, It's crazy to think that we have, you know, bad people on this planet. Yeah, right. I cannot believe it either. But it turns out not every person on this planet Earth is uh, straightforward uh, with what he wants, you know. I know women are, guys, you know, some of you may say, uh, but Hidan, women are always 
uh you know straightforward with what they want where they see the relationship going it's not like they will date you for many dates uh getting free meals and validation while at the same time having a roster of seven men and not one you know and it's never been part of the plan to commit to you i know guys women don't do that uh, they don't go into marriages just for their financial support. They don't date guys just for validation. Uh, they don't sleep with chads just for S3X while having other men, you know, side dishes and orbiters to fulfill their other needs. I know, guys, I know. But yeah, men do this, okay? So uh, here's an advice, okay? If you're a woman uh, and you don't want to deal with those type of men, uh, what you're going to do is you're not going to do that, right? So basically, uh, as you yourself mentioned, if you feel uh, insecure with a man, if you feel like he won't commit, if you feel like he's shady, uh, then just don't date him, right? But for many women, guys, it's too late because they've spread their legs on the first date, right? So now that now they they are in that relationship, just expecting uh, that situation ship. You know, that relationship that's never been settled uh, to evolve into a marriage or a serious, stable relationship or whatever not. It's absolutely absurd, guys. If you really wanted a relationship, here's the kicker. If you really wanted something stable, you would have secured it up front. You would have told the guy, uh, I'm looking for something serious. And if you see that he is, you know, trying to just sleep with you, uh, then you would have assumed that he really doesn't care about a serious relationship. So it's really easy for women, guys. Don't let them fool you. A lot of them whining, crying over here. Men used me. Men used me. But they are the ones who decided to be used. They are the ones who accepted, guys. Women are the natural selectors of our species. They decide when to have S3X or not. Men chase women for S3X, but they do not have the last word. Women are the ones who decide with whom they sleep. So every time I hear women say, he used me for my body. Uh, you decided to do that. And it's funny how you, you can go for months at a time, not being into a relationship, not, not having spoken about any sort of committal, uh, commitment, excuse me, and, and they will just uh, cry about being used. It's absolutely hilarious, guys. Women who are traditional gentlemen and who want to have a serious relationship, who strive for real love and long-lasting relationships, guys, they are really easy to spot because you can see uh, their desire through their actions, through their life. You know, you can see the type of men they've been dating. Uh, you, you can see uh, that they get to know men before committing to them, before sleeping with them, etc. Uh, usually women who really want to find something serious. They've had one relationship, two relationships, you know, that have gone south. It hasn't worked, whatever. Uh, you know, those, t those type of women are the ones who are actually looking for anything you can call a relationship. All these women, guys, that are whining and whining and whining, you can really easily tell uh, what they're actually after. Because no matter what they say, they can be out here saying that they can't find love. All men want is hookups. No, all men you date want hookups. All men you select want hookups. Women, guys, who want serious relationships, they really achieve them. It's not that hard. Uh, women who are, you know, good partners are in, in short supply in our generation, guys. All these women, guys, you take a, a peek uh, at their lives, and what you will find is they, they, they have a high body count, like double digits at least. Uh, you know, they've been sleeping with so many men. They've had like 15 relationships that have, well, a relationship situationship guys uh that have lasted for a month two months you know uh they've been played for eight months at a time at a certain period by some char and you look at that life and they tell you then after after all that they tell you i've been looking for love you know i've been looking for a serious relationship and and all you can do is try not to burst laughing at their face guys never never listen to what women say look at what they do because that's the real tell no matter what you say madam your words mean nothing if if you have a high body count if you've been dating all the bad boys no matter how much you cry over here uh that men you know they're so bad they they don't want to commit 
Nobody cares, madam. It's you who put yourself in that situation. You could have, you know, uh, taken a different decision in order to not be in that position, but you didn't, which reveals that all you ever really wanted is the attention and the validation from strangers. But tell me, guys, do you agree with me, or do you think that 4,000 years still in a tomb has messed with my understandings of dating? Now, let's cover this other woman, guys. Last week, I shared a video describing all of the red flags that I noticed while on a second date with a guy that spent a buttload of money on the date. Um, there were a lot of questions in the comment section that I just wanted to answer and clarify. The first question was what his ethnicity was. A lot of people assumed he was white. Some people assumed he was black. He is, in fact, half Greek and half Guyanese. The second question there was a lot of was why I felt the need to mention how much money he spent on the date. I guess some people felt like I was showing off. That's not a flex. It's not a flex. I actually think it's an astronomical amount of money to spend on a second date. And the reason I mentioned it is because men have a habit of basing their expectations of women on their output. And in this case, his output was his money. And I guess his time. But it was my time too. Uh, the third was the idea that I should have either refunded him for half the date or got up and walked away halfway through. <laughs> Immediately, no. That's all. Notice how uh, she laughs, gentlemen, at the idea that she should be, you know, she should have to refund that guy. Uh, and she's asking herself, why would I do that if I was there in the first place just to get provided for? You know, guys, imagine the reverse scenario where a man um, dates a woman just to have S3X with her on the first date, and then someone on TikTok tells him, uh, shouldn't you go on a second date with her, you know, just to maybe hint at the idea that maybe you care uh, about anything else other than her body? And the man just laughs like, nah, bro, I, I really did care only about her body. It's the same, guys. All I'm going to say on that. Then there were conversations about whether or not these were red flags or personal triggers. Look, red flags are quite literally defined as anything that may be an indication of, of danger. All of the things that I listed indicated some sort of danger to me. Lastly, there were a lot of men and women telling me that I was going to die old, alone, surrounded by cats. So as my bio states, I'm a, I'm a writer. I live in Toronto and I write a lot about relationships. Marriage, happiness levels, divorce, men, women. I, that is the stuff that I write about. And through my writing, I have learned that I am not a marrying kind. I have no interest in being a wife. I am very much dating to date. I love meeting people. I love getting to know people. I love going out with people. And yes, I pay the bill sometimes. <laughs> but I'm extremely concerned about how enmeshed marriage and happiness is in our society when we know that more than half of divorces fail. When Michelle Obama was doing press for her book... I uh, don't care about Michelle Obama, to be honest, guys. Let's comment a little. Now, this woman is really straightforward, which kudos for that. But most women, guys, who whine about being old and being single, they follow the same mentality of, why do I need to be in a relationship at a young age if I want to be happy? They see... Uh, a complete opposite in the idea of being married at a young age and being happy. What they see, the, the idea that they have of happiness is that happiness is all about dating as much men, getting provided for, getting, you know, smashed when they're younger by many chads. Uh, they find happiness in that. But when they get to 30 and that can no longer be the case, then they want to find happiness in a man providing. So it, it's, I'm talking about the case with the last woman who covered and with most of the women we cover on this channel, honestly, guys, this is what they want. But getting back to this one right here, something that I don't understand, and I have to blame men for this, I don't understand why there are guys out there who pay anything more than $10 for a date. Uh, I just don't understand it, guys. I really don't, especially when we're talking about high amounts of money. Like, th this guy probably could pay up, up to $400 on a single date uh $200 whatever anything more than 10 guys really uh, I don't understand we're not living in your grandparents time 
uh, maybe if you ask your grandpa, he'll tell you that the way he impressed, you know, um, his woman is by, you know, showing that he can provide, that he has, uh, you know, stable finances, uh, that, you know, that he can, that she can feel secure with him, that he knows what he's doing, that he has money, uh, that he's working, etc. Yeah, probably your grandparent did that and impressed uh, his wife that way. Uh, we're no longer in that, uh, you know, we're no longer in the 1950s, guys. We really aren't. A anytime a man gives money to women, uh, he'll not impress them. They'll just run away with it. You won't secure commitment uh, providing. You won't secure hookups providing. Literally, all you're doing is feeding women's egos. And then they'll make a TikTok about it. Oh, this man paid uh, $300 on a date for me because you see, I'm, I'm so high worth. Uh, you see, like, I'm a princess, guys. Look at what other men are doing for me. It's all they do. You won't get anywhere paying money. There are still guys out there, guys. I'm mentioning the, this because probably there are some, you know, um, younger guys watching this or, you know, maybe some older guys are just looking at this and smiling to themselves, thinking, ah, uh, I remember, uh, you know, when I was 20 and on my first date, I thought that uh, providing was going to get me somewhere. Uh, it's not going to get you anywhere, guys. Please forget about this idea of providing for women. The, the way chads work is they take a girl on a date to McDonald's or a Starbucks where they where they pay $5 for a coffee and then they get the hookup. <laughs> you know, you, you literally don't have to pay uh, to get anything if you're chad. And if you're not chad, uh, paying is not going to get you any further. So guys, please don't waste your resources on on first dates especially like uh, it's a different situation when you are already in a relationship with a woman who values you and your time and effort that's a different scenario but talking about first dates or just you know women on on dating apps etc guys please save your resources you literally you, you know i think you'd be much happier just getting a, a stack of money and throwing it uh, into the ocean than paying it for these women guys they most of them have a roster they're dating seven men at a time and, and if you provide for them they're just gonna you know write in a notebook uh your name and next to it provider you know uh beneath chad uh, where it says you know uh, s3 actual validation uh it, it will be your name uh, with the tag the label provider they're not they're not gonna take you in seriously guys Talked to her, she said that uh, young people give up on marriages too easily. I did a deep dive into that, and it's actually not just young people. The divorce rate is highest among baby boomers. And according to a 2018 study, 69% of divorces are initiated by women. She also described there being a 10 year period in her and Barack Obama's marriage where it was just absolute hell. So when it comes to me and my thoughts on marriage, trust me, I am completely good. Also, I love cats. Stop projecting, people. It doesn't work. The reason why 69, nice number uh, of the divorces are initiated by women, and the reason why it doesn't work is because of people like you. That's the biggest irony, guys. She's out here mentioning, like, like she's out of the system, you know, like, I don't want to be part of a system that doesn't work. It doesn't work because of people like you. <laughs> you know, it's just that you've taken the decision to not marry, which is honestly a good decision for society and for any potential man crazy enough to want to have a marriage with you. Uh, but th the reason the whole thing is not working is because of your mentality of wanting to have, you know, your cake needing it. Or this mentality of... Um, I need to have everything in life. And when I'm younger and I can have the chats lined up, I don't want to be married. It's this philosophy that raises the standards. It's this philosophy that breaks the marriages in most of the cases, guys. But what are your thoughts? Anyone going through divorce or has gone through divorce, such as myself, will tell you how difficult it is. And for me... My divorce was more sad than it was um, anything else. It was pretty cut and dry. He walked away with what he had, and I walked away with what I had. And, you know, there was no... 
nobody went after each other's retirement or anything like that. And um, I do hear more so men saying that, you know, she raked me over the coals and um, she took me for everything. And I don't know how that happens. And I don't know the legalities about all that stuff. Um, I don't think I, I know that I couldn't ever go after someone's retirement. I mean, that's something that they've worked for and they deserve to have. Um, I don't think I could really go after anything that wasn't mine, um, rightfully so. But again, that's my opinion. And I guess people have reasons for doing what they do. Yes, they apparently have reasons. And those reasons are that were that they were never in that marriage for love in the first place guys marriage has become kind of like a joke to be honest with you uh starting from the vows all the way to the you know a actual um practical aspect of the marriage it, it has become a contract with the government more so than with your uh wife it, it, it's like a third party you know it's like a trio <laughs> When you're marrying a, a woman, you're also kind of like marrying the government. And essentially, guys, uh, the winner, okay, the winner of the, this whole thing with the marriage after it break, uh, breaks up are uh, women. They get the better end of things. Uh, in, you know, talking about the child aspect of it, you know, who gets to keep it, uh, you know, moving through alimony and other payments that the man has to do. And uh, yeah, uh, taking men for the crap that they've been working for. And guys, you know who else is the winner of this? Uh, no, not men. It's the government. Because there are a lot of single mothers. And you can only imagine what will happen if the government uh, should have to provide for all those women who are single mothers. But no, it's the men, guys, who has to pay for that. And you know, men are extremely happy to pay for their child, even if it's not, you know, living in their house. Uh, the problem is you can never know where that money is going. You, you can be paying a certain amount of money that's supposedly going to your child, uh, but it could be going to your ex-wife's nails. That's how stupid it is. It's incredibly frustrating to me, guys, how uh, there are so many rules in place uh, for child support. You know, like, ah, oh, we must really protect children. They need to be provided for. It's really important. Uh, but at the same time, there's not a single rule or not a single uh, way to effectively check where that money is going. And it could be easily achieved, guys. There are so many rules for child support, yet not a single step taken uh, in order to see that that money is actually going towards the child and not towards... It, it could be going towards anything, guys. The, the ex-wife could be buying cigarettes with that money. It's disgusting reasons that they believe are the right reasons. My thing with divorce is being mindful of the children, of the adult children, and realizing that they didn't choose to be here. We put them here. And try to make things as simple as you can for them because they might not say it to you and or show how they feel about the divorce but we know that it hurts them and I think we just have to be mindful of that and try to make the whole process as simple as we can for them you know guys I'll say it uh, this woman by everything she said now I don't know her of course uh, but but by everything she said uh, I don't think that this woman divorced because of the usual the spark is gone you know, you can just, when you interact a lot with people, you get to know them just by what they're saying. So in a lot of the cases, guys, some newcomer to the channel may say, this guy, Hiran, is too harsh with women. He doesn't know their stories. He doesn't know their backgrounds. Why is he assuming so much things about them? Why is he blaming them for things he didn't know that happened? Uh, because I can guess, and I'm most certainly telling you that in most of the cases, I am right. So it's the same with this woman, but it's the reverse scenario. Uh, no red flags in sight. Uh, she, she genuinely cares about children. She says that she didn't milk her man for what he's worked for. You can see uh, her way of thinking, you know, her line of thinking, her logic. So 
by all means, guys, I could be wrong. This woman could be, you know, extremely bad and she could be lying here. Uh, but by all things mentioned, she seems like a decent woman. And I don't think she either uh, milked her man for his resources or divorced for a crappy reason. So, you know, I, I just have to say, you know, uh, I, I often blame women, guys. I often do, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, but when there is a, a normal individual, guys, on the channel, I have to say it. We, we don't get often a uh, nice woman who just have a normal way of thinking. But with that being said, guys, we'll close the video right here. Uh, please leave me your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for being with me. Thank you, uh, thank you for joining me at Ampu as we cover this video. And I'll be happy to see you next time, guys. Have a good one.